X3L just unveiled the X3L One classes with the X1 chip inside. To watch movies, TV shows, play games, and even work on a gigantic ultra-wide monitor this time. And I had the opportunity to check him out early for around one week. And I'm gonna say, I'm impressed. They might not look much different from their predecessor at the first sight, but it's under the hood when we find big surprises. As here we have new optics, new audio, new software, a processor inside, great for accessories, chromatic lenses, and much more. There's a lot new in these glasses to talk about, so well, let's get into it. But let's start with the box, of course, as in here we're gonna find the case for the glasses, rigid for protection, and a set of manuals with additional nose pads, large and small, because the medium are already on it. Opening the case, bam, we will find the X-Real, the one in all their glory, with this new shiny finish and their usual recognizable shape and of course the braided cable to connect them to our devices. Again, as a first sight they might look similar, but don't let the first look deceive you. To start, the front shiny skin this time is completely removable, so you might be able to even change the color in the future. We have two speakers on the bottom by Bose for surprisingly good audio, with also two openings at the top for additional bass. Rocker for the brightness and the chromatic lens control, because as its pro predecessor you'll be able to dim the lenses with a single tap, mode switcher with a nice red tint and an additional button on top for different functions. Then the usual two screens to display everything in front of us and the curious port for an additional accessory in the future, like the camera that should arrive soon. As always, the arm are movable to adapt to different faces and to align the two new improved Burbath technology screens in front of you for better visibility. Also, for users with myopia, they're gonna offer direct lens service for prescription directly on their website with these little adapters. So, what are these? As in the past, these are your usual extra glasses with which you're gonna be able to place movies, TV show, games, etc. from all your favorite devices, but here, here there's something new, because in one of the arms reside the X1 chip, a chip created in-house by X3L that will completely change your experience with them. I usually talk about the fact that the image will be just stuck on your face, your hand moves, the movie will move with it. And that can be quite uncomfortable and nauseating at times. So the solution was to create an app, Nebula, but the problem is that it couldn't be installed in every single phone that you had. Just Android, so your Steam Deck, iPhone, Windows PC will be stuck kind of in the past. What was the second solution? Beam. This is still an awesome little device, by the way, uh, and it gave us the ability to actually bridge a connection from our devices to our glasses, giving us control over the screen. How big you want to be, how further away from your view, etc. But stay with me, what if we take this out of equation and instead of having to bring with us additional devices, they actually integrated the part in the glasses directly. So that means that it doesn't matter what you connect this thing to, it will not just work, but it will also give us the full 3D OF capabilities, no matter of the software running on the host. This makes it perfect if you want an additional screen on the fly, to play on a giant TV via your handheld, or watch a movie from your phone, or to work with a portable secondary screen on your laptop, like this giant ultra-wide monitor. On top of that, it brings less latency at 3 milliseconds and dedicated algorithm to avoid shaking and drifting, and of course to increase comfort. As I have to say, that's pretty cool to see in action, perfect for traveling, but also for everyday life. Anyway, these are AR Smart Viewer glasses. Are still able to project a big screen in front of you all the time, thanks to the 0.68 micro OLED displays reflected directly to your eyes. These have a resolution 1920 by 1080 each eye, running up to 120 Hz, all at 600 nits. Also with software-based IPD this time. The screens are very bright, the colors are extra vivid, as at the end of the day, we're talking about micro OLED. And do you remember my favorite thing about the Air 2 Pro where you can just actually adjust the lens transparency on the fly like I'm doing right now? Well, it's here too, so you can go from regular glasses to sunglasses to pretty much 
every light block directly to enjoy better your content with bigger contrast ratio. Let's go back to normal because I can see anything like this. This is the same deck using some fancy cars mirrors, by the way. And when my sound like a gimmick, it's actually not as it blocks the light from the outside, making the screen even more vivid and avoiding the translucency of the hologram without the need on an actual plastic blocker like we had in the past. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but these screens are so much better when looking at the edges with much less chromatic aberration and much better clarity. And that might have to do with the fact that you can finally choose your IPD in software. And also maybe because they actually sit a bit further from your eyes than the previous version. So you can watch your entire portable 147 inches OLED TV at four meter distance, the equivalent of 50 degrees FOV. Please exterior, let me get the screen closer at two meter distance at least to make it feel more like a monitor. I beg you, I know that you can do it because the system notifications are actually at that distance, so let's make it happen. But hey, how do you use them? The cool thing of these glasses, they are compatible with pretty much every single device out of the box. Steam Deck, PC, iPhones, Android, Switch, everything with the displayed out functionalities and Type-C connection. What you have to do is just to connect into the cable and what you're looking at will be displayed on the glasses as well. Now you can still use them with Nebula if you have an Android phone and with our official Beam Pro with a feature up. At this time, the different viewing modes are completely platform agnostic, as everything now happens directly in the glasses. You can display your content in 3D UF, so anchor mode, where your movie will feel like on a TV, so you can look around with a virtual TV, it will stay always in the same spot. Follow mode, where you guessed it, uh, the TV will follow you, stuck on your face, but smooth out to avoid discomfort. And side view, that is like a small HUD, like in video games, where you can do your stuff and you're gonna have the content always in the side of the view. You can change the mode tapping on the red button, but when you double click, that's when you get full control over the XR menu, all powered by the new chipset inside. It doesn't look extra fancy, to be honest, but here there are many functionalities to play with. As here you can decide the screen side, the screen distance, the ultra wide mode. It's, by the way, it's one of my favorite ones when you connect it to a PC, you get this gigantic monitor in front of you to work with and it's even curved to make it more comfortable and usable. 3D mode, stabilizer, side view, color temperature, sleep, IPD adjustment. You have the audio, the volume protocol. About the audio, by the way, it sounds pretty good and that's thanks to the partnership with Bose as the exterior one is fitted with a unique sound chamber design with new acoustic components. Of course, professionally tuned by the Bose engineers. Then we have the option for the shortcut on the top that I personally use for chromatic dimming and 3D mode. You see, I actually play quite a lot with this. I extensively play Elite Dangerous lately with my Rogali with full 3D when I don't want to get already in my full VR rig and it's portable, I can play it everywhere, also on my bed, and I'm not zoned out completely, but I can still enjoy like space in full 3D. And it's weirdly compelling and fun. Unfortunately, not many games support 3D out of the box, but this is SBS mode, so you can watch 3D movies with no problem, and in my case, I these with uh, just a long press. So yeah, the Xreal, the one, really feel like a smarter and more modern version of what we had right now. Opening a barrier of 3D OS to everyone with every device. They improve the visuals and apparently there's going to be also a pro version with even bigger FOV at 57 degrees. Just to clarify, these are not standalone glasses. They will still need a device to connect to to power them as they don't have a battery inside. And that's also why they're just 84 grams. But they can be your portable workstation as a portable ultra wide monitor when you connect them to your PC an awesome 120 Hz OLED TV to play your games, even in 3D when connected to your console, or a giant projector on the go to watch your movies everywhere on a giant screen connected just to your phone. All of these this time with a single cable, and I think that it's pretty impressive and convenient. And I'm gonna say, I'm impressed. So yeah, these are the Xtreal D1, they're going to be $499 and will be available soon. But hey, what do you think about it? Do you like the idea of glasses with the integrated tracking, no matter of the device you're using? Are you actually using this kind of glasses already? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like this, is like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you love a channel, join the button on there, little on further. Also, the Patreon. Thanks to the patrons. Check the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video.
Thanks for watching.